There's, there's something about the challenge of skincare. I, I just love it. And if you're here, I bet you love it too. Hey there, guy. What you doing? Hi there. Hey. hey. Are you the guy that doesn't like me? Hey, what's the deal? What? Are you a misogynist? Whoa. Whoa. What's wrong? So, I was wondering if I could get your opinion about a few things. I, I was just wondering, are you a Facebook user? Are, are you just sick and tired of all the all the, the political stuff? Yeah, I, I thought so. You know, you're looking mighty fine. Where do you buy your clothes? I just love it. You know, J. Crew just, just went bankrupt, so... I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. You know, today I wanted to have an honest conversation about taking care of our skin after the age of 65. You know, I'm not trying to sell you any products. You know, I, I want to maybe talk about the ingredients that, that work for me, but you know, this isn't about um, selling you something or commission or anything. It's just talking about some of the do's and don'ts. And I feel like some of these things I've truly learned the hard way. You know, I am going to assume that if you clicked on this video, you probably are a woman over 60 that is concerned about her skin and maybe wondering, you know, is there anything I can do to have my skin look a little bit better? And you know, seven years ago, I, I was 58. My skin was a mess, an absolute mess. And I don't know, maybe I can show you pictures, but, uh, I started, um, I started watching YouTube and I was inspired by all the tips they were giving me. And you know, slowly my skin did get better. So if you're thinking, you know, I don't have a lot of money and I don't want to get procedures and I don't know if there's anything that I can do that is going to help take some years off and make my skin look better, there is. There's plenty of things that you can do that have nothing to do with money. You know, right off the bat, I think one of the biggest things that I changed was the way I cleansed my skin. I stopped using a Clarisonic and I just, I used my hands and a very soft wash rag. But I do a double cleanse and I use a facial cleansing oil. And frankly, I don't think it matters what cleansing oil you use. I think they're all wonderful. <laughs> And I use a couple. I, I love to use the Burt's Bees uh, cleansing oil. I just love this. And it has coconut oil in it and it's very soothing and relaxing to me. But your favorite, the, the gals that, that watch my channel, their very favorite is the Palmer cleansing oil. So both of these are wonderful. 
And I just, I love how facial oils look all lined up. So I like to have a, a variety. I like to have a choice. That's just me. What I do after that, after I, you know, get my makeup off with my facial oil and my face feels so good, I will go in with a creamy cleanser, not any harsh cleanser, just a a wonderful creamy cleanser and I use two this is one by Burt's Bees that you can get at your drugstore for for under ten dollars this is the revitalization um, creamy cleanser so this has uh, a few fine grains in it so uh, I use this once or twice a week because this helps with exfoliation the other one that I love that is my favorite day and night is the Dirty Works Creamy Cleanser. This one has peppermint and spearmint, my two favorite scents. And it helps uh, detox my pores and it just makes me feel so good, so hydrated, does not strip away uh, the natural oils of my skin barrier. The next thing I do after I cleanse my face is I use an essence and I think you know find one that you love but you know I don't I don't use a toner and I don't use a vitamin C serum I find both of those things to be drying and totally irrelevant to the health of my skin now that I'm 65 especially vitamin C turning my face uh, red and making it sore that that's just <laughs> that's just not the cards for me right now so the next thing I do after I cleanse my face is I use my essence uh, from CosRx and this is a snail mucin essence and this has helped me with texture more than anything that I have ever used other than rosehip seed oil so the next thing I do after I use my essence is I will use any serum that has hemp in it. I think hemp products are absolutely fabulous. And the one company that I do love, I'm not trying to sell you anything, but the one company I do love and I trust is Azure. And I use their hemp and aloe vera serum. And it's really, this is the only real serum I use day and night. I rely on this because it it brightens me up so much but it plays well with others my skin is not gonna ball up when I use this with my CosRx essence this isn't gonna ball up with my makeup this isn't gonna ball up with anything so it plays nice with others and it's luxurious it, it, it's just it's a beautiful serum that I would not be I absolutely would not be without I just wanted to make sure that you knew I never do any sponsored videos when it comes to skincare and I, I never work on commission you know I, I don't hold something up and then I get like $20 for every jar you buy I don't I don't ever not that there's anything wrong with that but I never do that you know the the skincare business the cosmetic business they are a multi-billion dollar enterprise and the amount of the amount of money that they offer you to say wonderful things about their product before you know you've even tried it it's amazing and it shattered me as far as i used to love what was written on beauty jars and now i'm very wistful about it so i i'm always very very careful when I talk about skincare with you because if you're anything like me it was a it was a very painful vulnerable spot where I had girls at cosmetic counters sell me 
$300 creams when I was at my very lowest point because I believed what they told me that wow it was going to transform me and it didn't. You know another thing that I don't do is I don't use Retin-A on my skin but I do use a lot of tretinoid products. I, I do use uh, I use Rock Retinol uh, almost every night and I use my A313 this has three retinols in it. So you know, I think if you've been using Retin-A for a long, long time, I think, you know, if you're 65 or older, you know, why not? If it's working for you, keep keep doing it. Just for me personally, it just it just wasn't working. It, it just wasn't working for me anymore. I when I would use Retin-A, I I would just look so dry, and I would be out somewhere and I would look in the mirror and it was as if my foundation <laughs> had been sucked in by my skin and I, it was just horrifying. So Retin-A just, you know, it just wasn't for me. But what was for me was facial oils. And I, when I started to use rosehip seed oil and, and carrot seed oil, I felt like I had just gone to heaven and come back. I mean, it, it just changed my skin from being so rough and so dull and so gray. You know the thing you write me about the most is facial oils. And you have amazing testimonials about using carrot seed oil, turmeric oil, and rosehip seed oil. And every time I read what it has done for your skin, it just makes me so happy. So yeah, that's one thing for me that I think facial oils, they get in there and they fool our skin into thinking we're still producing a lot of oil and that helps us retain, retain the moisture besides fighting off the free radicals. You ask me all the time, why don't I derma roll? And the reason that I, I don't derma roll is I ask myself, what am I willing to risk to, to look a little bit younger and to have the best skin in the world? And the answer is nothing. I, I'm not willing to risk anything. My health and my well-being is the most important thing to me. So that's why I, you know, I, I'm not getting a facelift. I'm not getting procedures. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to uh, go through the ana anesthesia. Yeah, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be put under at, at my age. And and you know what? There are beautiful, so many beautiful women my age that do have fillers and they and they do have facelifts and they, they look great. And that's their choice. And nobody, I honestly, in my opinion, you know, you don't judge people like that. People have to do what they have to do. But for me, I ask myself, what am I willing to risk? And the answer is zero. <laughs> so I do not derma roll. And it's not just because I feel that derma rolling um, isn't quite safe. Not not for me because I don't know. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if my derma roller would be satisfactory. I don't know if they, the needles would be too long or, or too dull or too sharp or I don't even know if they'd be needles. But that's not what I'm really worried about, and nor is my dermatologist who told me no derma rolling at home. <laughs> he is cute. <laughs> I do what he says. <laughs> the danger for me, what I'm most afraid of with derma rolling, is after we put those holes in our skin, then we follow it up with like a vitamin C serum or some type of serum. And sometimes when we're older, our immune system isn't what it should be. So once that serum is in our skin, our body identifies it as a foreign agent, something that could hurt us. So it starts to form like a very huge barrier of, of, of blood and tissue and it can deform our face. I don't want that. You know, for me, if something could go wrong, it will go wrong. <laughs> Well, that looks like a good book. I was Anastasia. Oh, I'm, I'm sitting in the middle of a dirt road, sitting on a cheap suitcase waiting for a cow to come by. Yeah, sounds about right. Last year when I turned 64, I was exfoliating and the next day my face looked like a red lobster. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. Anyway, I couldn't do that anymore. So what I, what I do is 
once a week I will use what is a physical exfoliation and a chemical one all in one but it's natural it's it's just it's a coffee scrub I'm not so sure it matters which coffee scrub you know you you buy I think they're all pretty good I use the one in the, at you know the drugstore by L'Oreal the coffee sugar scrub you know one thing that I do now that I never used to do because I hated it was mask I mask every other day I make myself do it because it is just so gentle and so good for hydration and brightness I don't think it matters what mask you use really um, this is the hot thing now uh, on you know going around YouTube uh, this is the hydro mask and this is by uh, City Beauty and these are intense I just saw I just saw Carla. Uh, I will list her channel below. She has a channel called Real Chicks TV and she was just talking about these masks. These masks are insanely good. You know this is one of my favorite night creams and this is by Kate Somersville and this is like $110 a jar so I can't really afford that. But I use a cream that I think is even better than that and it's under $15 and this is the Nutrisy cream. And the thing is about night cream, does it matter what night cream you really use as long as you're getting the right ingredients? Probably not. You know, I love this because the ingredients are collagen and they're argan oil and they're lemon and they're all things that my skin responds to. This particular cream is very, it's very lightweight, it's very airy. I need something that won't be heavy and hot at night, but something that I can mix with something like a an A313 that is very heavy and very hot, but very effective. So these two together are insanely good. I think the most important thing that I could bring up today talking about taking care of our skin is what I use at night. And I used to use this product. This is the Eucerin. This is alpha hydroxy acid with uh, castor oil. And I use this every night and I use it every morning. You know, to be fair, my dermatologist years ago told me to use eucerin with alpha hydroxy acid every night and I thought oh well that's boring you know I want to use some of the fancier creams from France and Italy and yeah okay but this turned out to be honestly the most powerful thing I can put on my face this is alpha hydroxy acid with castor oil and the way it transforms my face along with everything else that I'm using is incredible. And to think that I picked this up for under $10. any makeup I tell you you know sometimes I truly think that women look a little bit younger without their makeup you know it's kind of a fine line and sometimes I don't always succeed um, but there's, there's something about the challenge of skincare I, I just love it and if you're here I bet you love it too A few weeks ago I had the pleasure of being contacted by a company called Organic Aromas and they handcraft these beautiful diffusers so you can enjoy your essential oils and they don't use water and they don't use heat and so I, I told them send it to me and if I like it I, I will showcase it on my channel and that's what I'm doing right now. This is the beautiful diffuser 
This is handcrafted. If you go to their website, you can see how they make these. Then they have different styles, but it's just so elegant and so pretty. And this just, it plugs in and it lights up. I, I will show you a close up of how it works. But I, you know, I just, I love it because this diffuses the oil. So I don't have to worry, you know, because I love my apartment to smell nice. But when I'm burning candles, I always worry that Desi, you know, might get his tail in the flame or might knock the candle over and that would just be disastrous. So this gives me peace of mind. Th this goes for about two hours and then shuts off. And so I use about 15 drops of oil, plug it in, and I am good to go. My favorite essential oil is spearmint. I know it's silly. My, my grandpa used to chew spearmint gum when I was a little girl. So just smelling that just calms me down and just puts me right to sleep. Desi, in all the years you've been together, you've never ever stole food until now. What do you think's going on? Do you, do you have something to say for yourself? You got two grilled cheese sandwiches and an English muffin. Desi, what's going on? Why do you keep stealing food all of a sudden? I love you, little boy. You know I do. Oh my gosh, look what I just ran into here. Oh my god, I'm gonna buy them all. Oh boy. Uh oh. Lunch? Do you like to go to lunch? I'd like to go to lunch. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. Do you get hungry a lot? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> you know, I gotta say, this week I threw myself one amazing pity party. <laughs> I had ice cream, I had cake, I had balloons, I had a clown. Yeah. I was feeling real sorry for myself. I mean, it was Mother's Day and I couldn't be with my family and I kept saying, yeah, it's been... I haven't seen any any friends or family since March. So I, I got my camera and I was feeling just terrible. And I was filming outside. You know, I love to film nature. It's my very favorite thing in the world. So I am filming nature, but you know, I'm still thinking, yeah, yeah boy, poor me, I didn't get my camera. <laughs> and then this beautiful, beautiful woman walked by and she's legally blind. Yeah, and she walked by and she had this beautiful, beautiful air about her, like, I don't know, it just, it felt, it felt so nice. And, and I watched her walk and I, 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 I had my camera, I took my camera down and I kind of followed her for a bit. And when she got closer to the stop sign, she took a tumble. And I ran over to her. I dropped my camera and I ran over to her. And I said, are you okay? Are you okay? And she was really, really shaken up. I, 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 don't, I don't think she, she could hardly see anything at all because when she talked to me, she looked past my face, but she said, thank you, thank you, as I was helping her up. She said, thank you for seeing me. Thank you for seeing me. She went on her way, and I felt like she had just given me the greatest gift. I was feeling so sorry for myself. And she was just grateful that I saw her so I could help her up from the sidewalk so she could get home with her cane. And I was so grateful. I feel like sometimes, perhaps from above, we're given signs like that.
Dear sweet old woman gave me such a beautiful gift. Another spring that I get to see these beautiful blooms on the cherry tree once again. Everybody, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. I loved every second of it. So please have yourself a safe and calm new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here. I don't look like a model. I mean, I, I'm not expecting you know, to look, you know, like I'm 50. I'm 65 and I'm proud of that. Maya, can I have a kiss? Can I get a kiss? What are you doing? <laughs>